First, though, the half year anniversary of perhaps the darkest day in Orlando's history. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Aiken. Thanks for joining us tonight. Six months ago tomorrow, 49 people, all of these folks were shot to death and 53 others were injured inside the Pulse nightclub. News 6's Troy Campbell is live outside Pulse where the first of several ceremonies to honor the victims begins in just hours. Troy. Eric, this is the fence behind me that is set to open in just a couple hours for what's described as a more intimate gathering. We've been speaking to people all night who've been stopping here at the site where so many lives were taken six months ago. The sadness that comes in the opportunity to grow. Laura Dewey says she's visiting Pulse for the first time since the tragedy, a place she used to come and dance with many of her friends. As you read all the messages on the fence, what stands out to you? If you ever want to see the word love a million times, <laughs> come here. Because love is the only word that's written on this wall. Pulse owner Barbara Poma opening up this lock to the fence around Pulse for an intimate gathering in the early morning hours Monday, marking the exact time 911 calls flooded into Central Florida dispatchers six months ago. Monday evening, a more public event is set to take place at the Orange County History Center, followed by another ceremony at the nightclub with prayers and a performance by the Orlando Gay Chorus. Melissa King showing up from Edgewater, wearing a bracelet she says was given to her by the mother of Amanda Alviar. Alviar's 26th birthday, falling exactly six months after she was killed inside Pulse. You see one man's hate, um, and you think that it, when you come here that that's what it's about, and it's not. It's about going and looking at the wall and seeing all the love from all over the world. A Christmas tree now standing outside the club, a symbol of the time that's passed since the June attack. It makes me so sad to see it dark. I just, beyond the fence, I see the walls of a building that used to be so filled with life. On Friday, Pulse owner Barbara Poma, she did announce that she does plan to reopen another nightclub. She hasn't said when and where that will be. And of course, we will be here when this fence is set to open just before 2 a.m. Eric. Hard to believe six months have passed already. Troy Campbell live tonight. Thank you.